Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an exciting parcel today and this one has come to me from everydayedeals.com and they asked me if I would like to review some of their products for them. Uh, so I said of course, yes thank you and they have been sent to me free of charge but as always I will do an honest review on the products and yeah I've got some exciting things. It was so difficult to choose because there's so many different things on their uh, on their website so yeah let's see what we've got so we have one little packet we've got diamond painting number two and then we've got oh number three is already unpacked for us look that one's come a little bit naked and then we've got oh a special drill you know how i like my special drill projects and then oh number four Okay, so let's get into these and have a look. Uh, big thank you to Everyday Ecrafts for sending me these. Uh, they look really exciting. So let's have a look at this one first. Okay, uh, it's a company I have used in the past. I have had uh, products from them in the past. But this is my first little PR package, as it were, where they've asked me to actually review the products for them. Now this is something, strangely enough, there are still products coming out on special drills that I've not had yet. And this is a little backpack and look, it's hot pink. How could I not get a hot pink bag? Look at that colour. And gems, look at the gems. Oh, special drills. Wow, and hot pink in the gems as well. Goodness me, I apologise for the shadows. It's dark today. It was lovely and sunny the last few days. As usual, when I come to film, it goes dull. <laughs> light switch just outside that goes oh Liz is going to film yep we'll turn it off so we've got our starter toolkit your basic toolkit pen butt and wax okay so let's see what oh it's got handles on it as well I knew it was a backpack um does it just a standard like carrier there on your backpack um I suppose you could undo the knots and make it shorter or longer if you needed to but yeah that's uh, just like a little swim bag really or a school bag isn't it but it's got handles on it as well. I didn't realise it had handles as well. So what picture did we get? We got a donkey. Yay! So you could quite easily use this one uh, for the beach. Because it's got a donkey on it. Yay! Do you have uh, donkeys on your beaches? I don't know whether it's just uh, a British thing or not. But certainly when we like go to the seaside uh, and we go on a beach, we tend to find that there are donkey rides. Even in our park, we have donkey rides as well. Uh, yeah, and they're great fun. Just, I mean, you only go sort of, I don't know, 100 yards back and forwards. I don't know how long 100 yards is. But you just go up a little bit and back a little bit. And it's just sitting on a donkey. Yeah! But it was great fun. It was all part of going to the seaside, dropping your ice cream and riding on a donkey. <laughs> this looks really well made as well. And the seams all look pretty good, all fastened off there. It looks like we've got particularly there's sort of one loose end there, but that's nothing. These are all covered over as well. You've got your little strings on them. They don't look too bad at all. Okay, and it's quite a good size, nice depth to it, we'll give it a quick measure as well. So it's like, it is like shopping bag material, it's like shower resistant I think you'd call it. You know when you get like those, um, a little like rain mac things, it feels like that, it's sort of shiny. I don't think if you had a, a massive downpour it would uh, stop the water, but obviously you'd have to check it, but I think definitely shower resistant as they used to put on uh, your little rain max and then you have our donkey which wow there's an awful lot of drills actually on this it's like we've maybe got grey and then she's got a beautiful flower in her hair and a mane oh lily is oh look at that and she's smiling it could be a he actually there's oh, we've got eyelashes on that side but there's no eyelashes on this side so could be a he with his flower in his hair you never know Okay, let's give it a quick measure and see how big we are on this one. So, the actual bag size is about 31-ish centimetres, which is about uh, 12 and a bit inches. Uh, so, that's quite uh, a nice size, actually. I say they're like a, um, a school bag, a book bag, or if you're taking like your trainers or your sand shoes to school, do they tell to take? 
do they still take Sam shoes to school? Do you know what Sam shoes are? <laughs> it's all trainers these days, isn't it? Uh, right, so it is 39 and a half centimetres, which is 15 and a half inches. Okay, but yeah, so that's quite uh, a good size. Look, I can easily get these four diamond paintings in here. So we could use it as a nice craft bag. That's good. Ah, right. So that's. Ah, right. Okay. So you pull those up. So that's how your straps get longer. So you can use it as a backpack. Sorry, did you see that? Let me just try it again. So what you do is pull your strings at the ends, which go over your shoulders, and then it becomes like a little backpack. That's really good. And they're a good long size. I reckon I could put that over my shoulders and put that on my back. Uh, certainly uh, easier for children. Uh, but I think an adult could wear that as well. I think that's pretty good. You have then got your handles as well to hold it by. So you've got your choice of how you carry it. I think I would always probably fasten it up so that nobody can get the hand in or whatever when you're out and about. But yeah, you've got your choice. You could either pick it up by your strings pick it up by his uh, little straps, your little handles there. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's definitely going to get used and it's definitely my colour. <laughs> right, let me take these out of here and we'll have a quick look at the drills. So again, I would definitely seal this one. Uh, put some diamond painting sealer over the top of the drills because you're going to yeah, you'll find that uh, particularly if you're taking it out and about you can get because the glue is on the hole um, of the picture let me just uh, oh it's is it fastened into there no it's just the way i'm taking it off for one awful minute i thought it was sewn oh it is it has been caught a little bit into the stitching there look that is one thing that i don't like when you get these like cushions and things where and boxes sometimes they have the plastic sewn in to keep the plastic on the front and actually this is quite easy to take out but some of them particularly if it's a thicker material it's really difficult to get those extra bits of plastic from in between the stitching but anyway at least it's only on one side if it was the full thing it would take quite a bit of doing but yeah so when you uh, put all your drills on you may find that although you've got your numbers and you've put your drills on there will be little bits in between with round drills where there is still sticky underneath and you can get fluff or sand or little sticky bits on that so i would always just put a little cut of sealer over the top it keeps them in place but it also then stops fluff and hair and sand and dust uh, and things like that sticking to it but yeah so let's have a look at these drills right, if i can get into the packet where's the end where's the end oh dear there it is i've spotted it you are opening whether you want to or not Okay. Oh, oh, we've got oh two purple. Oh, I suspect. Oh, yes, that's D look. So they've sent us two of the nice large purpley colour. Wow, to go with the pink in the middle of a flower. So we've got a spare just in case, which is always good. And then let's look at these. Okay, so we have oh. Okay, so we have like this. I don't know, champagne-y, very pale, uh, goldy colour there. The standard at 310 black. We have like another, they're all just slightly different shades, these, which are like your browning. That's got more of a grey tinge to it. And that one is definitely donkey coloured. <laughs> On camera, they are looking pretty much the same, but actually in real life, that one's a lot paler. That's more of a greeny shade to it. Uh, you've got your standard, oh, very sparkly crystal there. And then we've got larger in purple. They're all faceted, these. And your hot pink. And then some lovely teardrops in your crystals, clear crystals. And some, oh, AB coated green. So they're for the leaves. So it looks like we've got plenty 
um, of drills in there to do these three leaves and definitely plenty of those to do around your flower. So that's going to be a really nice project to do. Definitely one if you've got the children going on the holidays or whatever. I think they'd uh, wear it with pride if it's something that they've actually made themselves. Uh, but uh, yeah, I will definitely be taking this one out and about with me. Yeah, I am finding that uh, we do always, we've always got a water bottle anyway for Millie, our little Scotty dog that we take around with us. Um, and I like to have a drink with me as well because everything's so expensive these days. I always take uh, a watered down juice with me and I always take a, a drink for Hubby as well. So we get our three bottles in there to take around and putting it on your back is always a lot easier to carry than it is trying to put it on your arms and manoeuvre about. So yeah really like that and at the moment on the website that one would cost you eight pounds and ten pence and there are some special offers as of today on the website if you want to go and check us it's everydayedeals.com and you get one free gift if your order is over fifty dollars i think there's notes that you need to leave as to whether uh, what sort of crafting that you want in um free gift to be from i think he's got here want a bag if you want a bag <laughs> oh want a cross stitch if you want a cross stitch oh, want an apron if you want an apron that's what it says at the moment on the website um just as i say because this is when i've made the video this is what i've read before i've come on to do this uh just go and check uh, for your country rules and restrictions and things before you buy but uh, yeah i think for eight pound that's uh, a nice little bag i think you'd probably pay that for one that uh, you haven't done yourself and you've not had the pleasure of doing it yourself do you know this background material i'm just looking at it now it's flowers can you see yeah you can there's flowers and leaves on the background of this material so what they've printed the diamond painted donkey onto is actually quite a nice little material as well rather than it just being plain just adds that bit more interest to it and it's got the colours that will match in with the donkey to then match it in with the hot pinks. You've got like your green and your lemons um, and your like your purpley blues and things there. So yeah, love that. Absolutely love that. So let's pop that one out of the way and have a look at the next one. So let's see what this when is. I get uh, PR packages. I do like to try and get a little bit of a variety to show you um, as to what the website has. Uh, just so that you're getting different bits and pieces to look at and obviously I like trying new things as well okay oh no what this is yay it's another special drill project okay so <laughs> look at that look at that oh he's upside down <laughs> so we've got your standard toolkit again your starter toolkit your pen your boat and your wax just pop that wax back in the tray just stops it getting squished so this is one of those uh, snap bracelets, from what I understand. And I think it is. That's what I thought it was, but we've got some extras in here. So let's have a look. Oh, it is definitely a slap bracelet. Oh, I wonder what that bit's for. Okay. Ah, right. So he's not, well, he's upside down, but these come off. So you've got three little characters. And then it's one of those. Oh. It's nearly as good as your slap uh, light up keychains. Now, this is a nice rubber that's around this. I know there have been some problems um, with some people getting them and the metal coming through and uh, hurting children that have had them because kids are like, they'll give it right welly on anything, won't they? Uh, but yeah, I think because this is coated, it is like a rubber, a very soft rubber substance over the metal that snaps round so you just slap it onto your wrist and it just goes round and I've got very big wrists so yeah oh I like this okay so yeah I would still be very careful if you are giving it to a child just keep an eye on it and make sure the metal doesn't come out but as I say I don't think I've seen them encased in metal the, the ones I've seen have mainly been like material over the top uh, but this looks really good. Okay, so this one is uh, 21 and a half centimetres, which is about eight and a half inches. 
in length so you know it'll go up to a good size wrist and then it looks like we have this nice row of uh, sparkly clear gems and I think you will then put onto the bracelet so that it's got a sparkly cover and then they will then once that's on it's going to be difficult to do this uh, but yeah it does go through and obviously you've got plastic going against plastic here but that will go through there so let me just do it without the plastic uh, without the rubber on it because it's just all catching at the moment plastic rubbing against plastic so yeah that will then go on there and then see whether this works with it it might not yeah <laughs> it needs to be stuck down but yeah so then you can end up with an owl and i got the one there's all different ones if you check out say so check out the website and you will see all the different ones I've then got the one with the dinosaur and then I've got a little teddy. I mean, obviously, if you didn't want to put the uh, diamante gems on, you don't have to. You could just use it uh, with the red rubber. I mean, it does look quite good, actually, against the red. Um, and the dinosaur particularly looks good against the red. You know, if you're wanting to give it to a little boy that doesn't want it quite so sparkly, I think that's a really good idea because not everybody's going to want it sparkling. Uh, again, I would seal this, put it on with a really good, possibly a sil it's got a glue on the back, but I think I would maybe just help it out and maybe just put a little bit of silicone glue, just a line of it on the edge, just to keep it on the, the plastic as well, because, well, the rubber plastic isn't the easiest thing to stick to. Um, yeah, and you've got extra as well, look doesn't quite go to the end there oh my mind is buzzing with all the opportunities with all the different things that you could do with this and then that's like a little christmas teddy so you could do it christmasy as well in fact i mean it has got all three on at the moment but you don't have to wear all three at once you could change them out put whatever you like on got quite a nice little uh, plastic quite a nice little plastic uh, catch there that everything just feeds through so it'll move up and down as well it's more like a fidget toy isn't it you're just going to be sat playing but oh yes <laughs> oh dear right so so the drill feels pretty clear as well on these we've got the little owl with all the hearts oh really sweet that one i do like my owls and then a dinosaur it's at the brontosaurus so it's going to be okay being next to the teddy bear or the owl because uh, it's um, a, a veggie eater it's not a meat eater so we're okay and then our little teddy that's all wrapped up for winter so you could use it for a christmas one as well all right let's have a look at these gems okay all nicely packaged but separately okay whoops i wanted to come with me all right so we have oh we've got hot pink as well we've got nine different colors wow and they all look nice and clean and sparkly and no dust in them so we've got a lovely dark bottle green we've got the clear crystal there very sparkly nice little pale aqua blue and another shade of green there like a nice summer grass green and a deep purple and your gold and a lovely cherry red and then oh hot pink oh look at the flower oh, we've got hot pink flowers oh my goodness me hot pink flowers wow oh that's gone the owl look they've gone the owl's tummy she'll have little hot pink flowers on her tummy oh you know, can guess which one i'm going to be wearing <laughs> okay and this one cost four pound 85 pence and i just think you know to get your kids something to do for school holidays we're coming up to the big summer holidays now then uh, yeah this is going to be good to do there's two little like holes that aren't quite punched through on this but i suppose you could use it uh, to hang it up or you could use it if you've got really really big wrists you could use it to tie around them i suppose you could it's fighting back put it yeah you could use it as like a cuff if you put it further up your arm Okay, so she's just showing her flabby arms. <laughs> Another really cute little product. 
as I was a bit wary about ordering this because of the safety problems that people have had with the metal coming through but that plastic is quite thick and I think it might be okay obviously with anything if you give it to children just use it with care but uh, yeah I'm, I am uh, quite liking this so I'm just going to pop these on here so I don't lose them put my dinosaur the right way up because you don't want to be escaping and yeah let's say there was quite a few different figures and most of them did include a Christmassy one so you could even get two or three and just swap them around uh, you know children could do them and swap them around but yeah oh that's really good I like that okay so that's our number two product so let's have a look at the one that's sort of trying to escape on its own okay oops it's got a little bit stuck there just as it's being put back together okay probably quality control or something or somebody forgot to put the drills in oh yeah I told you in a couple of videos ago I was in a really soppy mood when I did some orders um, I think you can see that is that not the most cute romantic picture you've ever seen two little owls having a real snuggle and I think they just look so much in love they've got their eyes closed and they're just like oh I love you and oh I love you I think that is absolutely gorgeous and for a small painting the charting on it looks amazing because you can see the detail on it and I think once the drills are on this you're really going to get uh, a lovely little painting. It may be a little bit big and a little bit heavy to use as a greetings card which is what I do with a lot of my small pictures but it's definitely you know just a cute little picture size if you're wanting to give it to somebody as a present and that's the little thumbnail there I think you can see but I think you can see what it is anyway oh, it's so cute and those owls are so in love oh I tell you I'm going soppy in the old <laughs> so let's just check the drill size so we are 24 centimeters that way which is nine and a half inches by 19 centimetres, just under 19 centimetres, which is about seven and a half inches. So you're just losing that little bit for the edge. We've got your little key code at both sides, 19 colours. There are no DMC codes on this one, which is a shame. We'll see if they've got any on the banks. Uh, again, same toolkit, pen, boat and wax. So very uh, consistent with that but if you hear any heavy breathing that is Millie our Scotty dog honestly it's not me <laughs> it is quite warm in this craft room but she does insist on wanting to be in here and listening to what I've got to say <laughs> she likes to quality control all the products uh, she's a very good supervisor okay so this is actually a square drill as well so I did get a square drill painting so I do like to try different things things let me see if i can get into these that's it it's there so we've got like um special drill projects and we've got a square and i do believe i have a round one as well but we'll check as we go through so i say 19 colors wow now then is there dmc codes on the packets and uh yes there is there is 310-318-414. So I must remember when I kit this up uh, to put the DMC codes on. What I tend to do actually is squash it uh, and actually write on from the uh, packet the DMC code onto the little key code down here so that I've got it all at once. And then, as you know, I tend to photocopy this and put it onto my containers. So I must remember to do that. So when I come to kit this one up, don't forget to shout at me. Don't forget your DMC codes. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we start off with our standard 310 black. And then we've got a very palish purpley grey and another grey. And a sort of mocha brown colour. 
and yeah these are all going to be like the owl colours all the different shading in the owls and they're looking pretty good I can't see many misshaped ones or trash so we do need to do it so that we can see that sounded like an owl then do it do it do it <laughs> sorry I'm in a silly mood today uh yep yeah, so we've got a couple more colours there and then like a, a very pale grey that's going to be your main colour of your owls I think probably the darker colour for shading it's like a, a maroony colour a couple of like chocolatey caramel brown colours and for a 25 by 30 painting 19 colours is quite a lot and then we have a nice chestnuty brown and a fawny colour and a little little tiny bit of dark blue that one what's that one 823 dark blue, a darker brown, and is that one 939? Let me have a look. Yeah, that one's 939, that's your like midnighty blue, and another dark brown, and then like your purpley colour, and then like your browny purpley colour. And we've just got an escapee in that one that's just decided to join that party. It is a bigger party to be fair, it does look a bit fuller, so maybe there's more fun in that one. Okay, so very nice. But yeah, I'm definitely going to swap him out. I just saw this picture and I just thought, oh, they just love each other so much. <laughs> All right, let me pop these back in this packet and we'll have a look. Okay, we'll have a look at the next one. The owls were £6.48. Okay, I'm going to leave that one till last. And we'll have a look at this one. This is a special drill. So, yeah, I've got a special drill. I've got a square and a round so that we can see the different quality of each one. And let's have a look at this one. All right. And, oh, dear. <laughs> you'll say, oh, no. But uh, anyway, when you see it, you'll know it's one of mine. So, yeah, this one comes with those plastic tweezers. Um, that I don't use and yeah but anyway um, so yeah a standard toolkit your basic starter toolkit pen boat wax and some tweezers they're possibly alright for children to use so yeah okay so that's your toolkit and it is it's a bunny <laughs> ever since Easter I've just not got over my little bunny uh, theme and I don't like getting my little bunnies. But this one is all made up of big flowers. And I just thought, oh, I haven't seen that one before. And I just had to get it. Oh, this is a really soft canvas. So that's the little uh, thumbnail there. So you can see you just your sticky is just your drill area, which is just the bunny. The rest of it, um, the white, is just your background and your dark diamond paint that bit. This is a lovely, very soft canvas, this one. So it's a little 30 by 30. So a nice quick little project to do. Um, if you're one of these ladies or gents that does these really big projects, something like this is nice to just achieve in between all your others. But uh, I just like doing them anyway. I love special drills. It's the sparkle. It's the magpie in me. What can I say? So we've got one little key code down one side. There's 18 different gems and shapes on this one. Wow. And it does look like we've got some numbers. So they may or may not be DMC numbers. We'll have to check. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. It just that really caught my eye. We've even got a butterfly here. Look. Can't wait to get this one done to see what it looks like. So let's have a look at these gems. Nineteen different ones. Wow. Ooh, wow. Wow. Oh dear. So we have our just sort of standard goldy, yellowy goldy colour uh, in your little gems there. And then we've got like the pearls, which are like half spheres uh, in white. There's no facets on them and they're AB coated in two sizes. I hope you can see that coating on those. It's gorgeous and so shiny. 
We have a lovely pink. Wow. Not quite a hot pink, but it's getting there. We've got the blue, the standard blue gem there. And then some slightly larger clear. Look how sparkly they are. Wow, they're like a mirror. And your standard little like leafy bright green there. Uh, black 310 standard gems there. So I've got 310 on it. Let me have a look. Uh, what bag is that one? Number eight. No, it says 93. So possibly it won't match up with the MC, but never mind. I can still match it up with what I've got. We've got a nice blue colour there, a deep blue. And then some larger faceted pink rounds. Um, some sort of cherry red pink rounds. Some silver in standard size there. Oh, look how sparkly and clean they are. No dust in these bags. And then your purple faceted larger rounds. Some more pink, like a rosy pink there in the small gems. And look at those pink pearls with an AB coating. Oh, lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. And then some marquees, which have got like that pinky, fiery red type AB coating on it. And then just some standard purple and purpley blue colour. So yeah, nice gems on this one. It's gone all lovely when it's done. And I think that pop of the white pearls in between all these colours is going to really stand out. Looks like a lot of it goes on the tail. So she's going to have a little fluffy cotton tail. Oh, love that. Okay, let me see if I can get these back in the bag. I folded them up a really strange way. <laughs> The last one. Wow, we've had a really good haul so far. Really love these. And did I tell you the price of the owls? The owls were six pound forty-eight, and the little bunny rabbit was four pound and four pence. And then the last one, which should be our round gems. Let's see what we've got. Okay. Here. Oh, I want to come out. Come on, welcome to the daylight. Okay, and oh, I love this. Look at this. this it says, Be you, the world will adjust. And it is covering, as far as I can see, all the different sort of charities like. Uh, autism and all the different cancers and things just to say be you the world will adjust so don't adjust to anybody else just be you and I just thought yeah like that um, I think this is a you here I'm not quite sure let me have a look at the thumbnail yeah that's you can't really see it on the thumbnail there but once it's done, this is going to look super. And I just thought the colours. And yes, I've gone to the uh, dark side, Claire from Claire Diamond Paints. I'm back on gnomes. <laughs> but I just thought, yeah, it's one just to support everybody. Don't ever look down on anybody. Don't ever call anybody names. Just be inclusive of everybody and yeah i just thought yep yeah, i like that painting it just makes such a wonderful statement so i just had to have it so yeah it's a 30 by 40 and we have 24 different colors in it with dmc codes on the key codes that are at both sides which is excellent but the gnome is holding a heart with like the jigsaw pieces of all the different um I, I think they are like the charities the groups and everything i'm sorry i don't know what they all are maybe you can tell me um but yeah i just thought it made a really bold statement whilst being a little bit of fun as well having the gnome on the bottom <gasps> and it's got a lot i presume these are going to be 310 black yes they are so it's got a lot of black drilling to do in it but we've got the sparkly stars to offset it as well I'll have to do it with the wording. It doesn't look brilliant to read. Once you know what it says, it is easy to read. 
but possibly it may need to be more of one colour or two colours just to make it stand out that little bit more rather than it being like the uh, jigsaw pieces again, like the ribbon. So we'll see. But uh, yeah, it's just such a wonderful painting, this one. And it is actually 25 centimetres, which is nine and three quarter inches by 35 centimetres, which is 13 and three quarter inches. So that's your drill field size. So it'll go lovely in a 30 by 40 frame. It's a wonderful clear drill field. I mean, look, those W's couldn't be any yet clearer if they tried. So see, you can see the letters and you can see be you the world will adjust um but i think possibly it needs to be mm, maybe less color in it so it stands out more but we'll see once it's done and then you've got your little gnome oh, sorry about the glare so i've had to put the lights on today it is a bit dull and then his little crocker gold next to him as well yeah okay right so let's have a look at these drills Look like uh, really good quality drills in these packets. Definitely got a good shine on them. Okay. And this one cost £5.66. And it's my favourite size, which is 30 by 40. You know me, I like my little uh, smaller projects, as some people call them. To me, it's just a standard size. Um, and I just enjoy doing it. It's manageable to do in uh, sort of a few nights to a week. And that's what I like to do. I like to get mine done and just enjoy the finished product once I've got it done as well. Okay, right. So, where shall we start? We'll start at number one, which is this end. And we'll have your nice salmon pink and your whiny burgundy colour. And a grey and lots of 310 black. Oh my goodness me. And then, oh gosh, look at that red. That must be 666, I would think. And then, like, um, tinned pea green colour. <laughs> and a dark grey. Oh, and a lovely royal purple. And your minty green. And like a sage green. And a grass green. And a sunny yellow. And caramel chocolate colour. And a pale grey. Oh, and a lovely aqua colour there. And then your very dark midnighty blue. Your denim blue. A nice bottle green colour. And oh, look at that one. Like that one. What's that one like? It's not quite an aqua, is it? It's like a greeny blue colour. Okay, and then the last few. Are again, a nice midnighty blue colour. Your like purpley colour. And we have hot pink. Hot pink. Where does that go then? Number 22 is an H. Where's the hot pink? Oh, it's just, oh, look, it's on the love heart. Oh, could that be on a better place? Look. Then I'm solving, holding love heart with hot pink on it. Gets my vote. And then like a very pearly, yellowy, beige colour. And a dark brown. Okay. Pop these away. Right, well, I'm impressed with that one as well. Okay, well, uh, we've got such a haul, hardly fit on my desk. So we had the uh, lovely donkey little backpack bag, which is wonderful. We've got the little slap bracelet, which I'm going to be playing with for days. <laughs> going to have to get some more of these. The grandkids are going to love these <laughs> with the sparkle. We had the really pretty snuggly owls look, or smoochy smoochy. We had our little special drill bunny rabbit, and then our all-inclusive gnome there. Okay, well, thank you ever so much to Bella at everydayedeals.com for sending me these. I love them. I uh, can't wait to get them done, and I will come back and show you when they are done. We'll do maybe a kitting up as well on uh, a couple of them. Certainly these two I will kit up. Um, even though this one is only 19 colours, I do like to have them in my little bottles because uh, there is quite a bit of colour change in this and I tend to find I miss out colours so I have to go back into my bottles. Anyway, we'll go through more of that when I do it. <laughs> uh, 
okay well i hope you've enjoyed uh, looking at this these with me if you have a thumbs up it's always much appreciated and if you've got any comments or questions if you leave them in the comments down below i'll get back to you as soon as i can and if you have enjoyed looking at this video and you want to come back and see what i get up to next see some of these finished and see me play with my little slap bracelet again shall i just do it one more time excellent excellent okay then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell above it you'll be able to come back and see what i get up to next you won't miss any videos okay well thank you ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now